Hi guys, thank you for joining me. So today we're going to be going through a challenge that I'm going to join. And I don't know if we're even supposed to make videos on this. And it is made by Junk Journal Junction, Angela at, An at Junk, Journal, Junk Journal Junction. Welcome to the April 23 book page challenge. And what it is, is it's going to be, she's got a different setup, uh, focus every week. And it's for the month of April. And um, she, she's got guidelines. I will share her video down below. But um, it is going to be a junk journal out of just pages, book pages. Um, for your ephemera, your journal cards, tags, bookmarks, shared paper clip, um, altered paper clips, all of it is going to be just book pages. Doesn't that sound fun? I'm not good at junk, but I can I can do a book page. So, um, in fact, I just say I, I make journals. I drop the word junk. So, here we go. So, what I have is I'm going to just assemble the signatures and I... Uh, haven't decided how I'm going to do these yet because they're four by eight I mean they're five by eight I have decided I don't know why you know I like fat little journals so I've decided that my pages are going to be five by five I just like fat little journals and I went through my pages uh, we'll go through that in a second but what I'm going to do is figure out what I need to do on these. Hmm. Okay, so I had this Mythbusters book. And uh, it had so many neat pages in it. Look at all these. And they're 5 by 8. And I thought about folding them in half and just having little stubby pages in the book. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I, I can't I can't cut them down to nothing. I don't want to do that. So, okay, so these, I what I did was I went through and found, and these are all book pages, I promise. That one was a little short, so I just put a band on it. And I put book pages on the backs of, of all of them. Okay, so we're going to do that. Because... I just want a fat little journal. And these pages will be 4 by 8 and that's okay. And she said to have 6 page miniature, but I like fat little journals, so I'm doing more pages. I'm just going to have fun with it. She did hers this morning. And uh, I just think these pages are fun from this Mythbusters book. You know, I just thought they were a great catch. Okay. I need to fold these because we're going to make the cover. Oh, I've got two of them. I was like, why isn't that lining up? Because I've got the cover I need that I'm going to do too. And I need to figure out how we're going to, how thick it needs to be. Because I screwed up on that. But that's okay. We'll fix it. Aren't those fun pages, though? Like I said, I'm not good at junk, but I mean, I, I, I think this is neat. I can do books. I love books. And this was, my son is a science nerd, so they all have a science theme. You know, like I said, this was a Mythbusters book. But I real I need to uh, see how thick the cover is going to be. And I screwed up on the pages, but that's okay. I love that one. Isn't that fun? I don't know what it is. I didn't read the book. And then that was a strip I took that was from another page that I had used strips out of the book before. 
and of course I got this at Goodwill for him and then when I started junk he's done with books now he's 21 so when I started junk journaling I, I got it out it is super neat then I have a couple of other books that we'll get to when as as ephemera and stuff comes up okay so those I'm just gonna al probably alternate in my pages and I won't do these online. I won't make you sit through me assembling all of these. But this is a page out of those Mythbusters book. And then that's one of the uh, borders. Isn't that neat? Okay. So we got we got a lot of, a lot here. Like I said, I like chubby little journals. Okay. And those are cover ideas. And we're not there yet. So these, I like the big words. I had some, a book, I don't remember which one, that had big words. So I thought what I would do is just a, attach them. Oh, oh, hear me doing a book, a book thing. Oh, I cut those pictures off. Oh, well. That, that's stupid. I throw them away. It makes me, I, I didn't mean to cut them off. Okay, I don't know why I have three of those. That one's weird. Okay, so we're going to attach those with the, the big margin on the outside. These were super fun. I don't know if I'm going to use them all. But they were, I have a Betty Crocker cookbook. And a bunch of the pages were pink for breast, they'd had a whole breast cancer section. So I thought the pink pages were fun. I like colored pages in my books. Okay, there's only one of those. This one was attached at the spine, so that was fun. Easy. These were cute. Let's see, how do they go? Like that. Those are from the Princess and the Swan or something, something. Some kind of swan kids book. Look, there's a little fox. There's that. That that was cute, wasn't it? So, okay, I've got an extra one. And there, oh, there's more blue. These blue, you have to be careful. Oh, that's centipedes. I'm gonna have to cover those with book pages because I don't like them. So I'm gonna set those aside. There was some. I like index pages a lot. Okay, uh, th it, one of his books, it does have colored pages, but it's got uh, creepy animal marine cucumber crap. I mean, I don't like the animal stuff. Okay, there's that. This, you've got to be careful with this. Now, I've got history books, and they keep referring to uh, slavery. Hmm, I cut those off. That looks dumb. Okay, there. I like that. I liked those. So I guess I'll do it like that and that. I mean, that and that. And th there. So I've got two green sections. Let's see. I don't think I need all of these. Okay, we're going to set those aside. The purple's nice. Oh, these blue ones were out of, they've got a blue and a white side. And I guess I cut them wrong so they can't be, okay, well, I'll just alternate them so I can get the words out on the, I mean, the border on the outside. So I'll just alternate them. Have one white side and one blue side. This, I made a folder. Okay. And I'm only going to make it one signature. It's just going to be fat. Man, I don't need to assemble that one. Like I said, I will assemble all of these off camera. You like the pink pages? Aren't the pink pages fun? What I was going to work on this time in this video is... Um, 
and that's big enough for a wraparound in that folder and then I will alternate these so it's going to be that thick plus some so I'm going to make it an inch thick and I'm just going to do one fat no I might have to do two signatures unless I make them flat but I can't but I can't do that for all of them. I'm not going to go. Okay, I'll just make it two signatures and I'm going to make the cover an inch. That'll give us plenty of room to grow. And these are all extra. I might not, I might use them. I might not use them. Okay. For the cover, what I have is I liked, I don't know why that says, well, I already scored it. I might have to get different something different for the cover and I didn't allow I didn't make any of this big enough for an inch wide margin so forget that that's the history book I'm not crazy about these are fat I could just some I could just do some of these they're fat little pages. Let me see how big it is. Seven by seven. And so an inch spine would be six. And the pages will be five. So yeah, I think those will work. So I'm just going to start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'll make that the cover page. Why not? Why not? I've got other things to add to the cover too. Some really pretty pictures I found. Where'd they go? And I've got a lot more plain pages. And where did they go? Oh, look. Look how pretty. A house. A cottage looking thing. And another one. Look how pretty. That's going to be the cover. Isn't that pretty? And then I thought there was another one. Maybe not. Oh, yes. I was going to use this for the cover. But I guess not. And then another one. Another you know, street cottage looking thing. Aren't they pretty? But that one's going to be the cover. Love it. And inside cover and stuff, you know, whatever. Okay. So we'll worry about all this stuff later. I found some music and some blank pages. More blank pages. So we're going to cut this down just a little bit. I want it to be the the book is going to be five by five the pages so I want the cover to be let's see that's six and three fourths so if I that's six hmm. well I'm gonna have to do something different for the spine Okay, so then I will cut these down. They're not big enough for... Uh... Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Because I want the cover to be five and a half, and that's six and three fours. We'll make it an even six and a half. And then... That will be a one-inch spine, and half inch over thing, overhang, yeah? Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. And I'm just gonna layer these to make them thick enough. Okay, I'm just gonna layer them to make them thick enough. Let me get that out of the way. There. Uh, okay. 
So maybe I'll just make that the inside. And then we will put, no, I guess I, okay, I'll just have to collage around it. And what I'm going to do is just glue these, like layer them to make it thick enough for a journal cover. That's what she did. But she had thicker pages, but I'm just going to put a couple pages together. I just thought this was something different. And it sounded like a fun challenge. And like I said, she's going to have different things every week. And then today she picked out her pages and 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 the cover and so, she sewed it in. She's already sewed it in, sewn it in. And so I am going to, I could probably make my life easier for a cover, but this is what I want to do. Because not all books are this wide, so it's a good idea to use these. And you have to make the whole thing completely out of book pages. Isn't that interesting? Won't that be a challenge? I thought it sounded like a fun challenge. Like I said, I'm not good at junk. So this sounded like my kind of thing as far as using junk. Just plain book pages. I did junk journals. That's how I started, but I just don't. I'm not, like I said, I'm, I'm not, I guess I'm not cool enough to pull it off. Because they just turn out to be a hot mess. They weren't cohesive. I guess I didn't have the right kind of junk. I just didn't like them. But book pages, I mean, who doesn't like book pages? We can all get behind that, can't we? And I've got lots of ideas for elements and stuff already. And I just thought it would be a fun collab. And like I said, I don't even know if we're supposed to make videos of us making it and following our process. I was picking out pages as I watched today. I started watching in my room and then I was like, I got itchy to start picking stuff out. So then I came in here and started it over. And she made flowers and corners. And I made some corners, just like she did. Well, no, I don't know if I did them just like she did. By the time I figured out what paper I wanted to use, she'd already moved on. So I just started folding. And I figured I could, I'm like, I can do this. So I don't know if I exactly followed her. But I had a dog book. And it had a bunch of red screened looking images in it and I used those for my corner pieces I'll show you and then I saved the scraps to use like washi you know I'll show you there we got one that's pretty thick I like it and I'll probably sew it before I assemble it but I'll show you so here's a corner and like I said, I used, uh, and, and it's just a corner thing. And she put them on the cover, and I liked them a lot. And the way she made them, they sit. Oh, now that's, what is it, not square? What did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? Well, oh, it's glued inside. Let me, let me ream that out in there. Because I want it to be flush like hers. Unless I did them all wrong. Dang it. Well, I'll cut them and glue them on if I have to. There. There. Like that. Isn't that pretty? And I made a whole bunch. Here, I'll lay this out so you can see. There. I made a whole bunch of red ones. Like I said, I was watching her and I got itchy to start pulling papers. So then I came in here and then she showed the corners and I was like, well, let's get going on corners. So 
So I made a whole bunch, and that one didn't get glued. And um, they're real easy to make. I didn't, I didn't save any. I, I didn't. You can follow her process. It's in today's video that I'll link below. I can do one if you want. Okay, I'll do one. Maybe. No, I'll just let you follow hers. And then I had a whole bunch of... Oh, there's a smaller one. I don't know why. Then all the trimmings of where I shaved it down, I kept them. Because I thought I could use them like washi. Because, I mean... I like them. Like, isn't that pretty? But they were just screened images of people with dogs. See, that was like dogs chasing an elk or something. But the little scrappy bits left over, I thought were so pretty. I was like, I can use those like washi. Like, look. And I mean, you can't tell what it is. It just looks like a little something something. You know? So I thought that would be great for embellishment. All of those pieces. So I've got those set out. And I've got all these page corners made. And I, I probably did them different than her, but they're fine. Well, like I said, by the time I found this paper... And I was like, oh, yeah, because I s remembered seeing it, a mi like, when I was going through stuff. And then she started making some, and I was like, I could use those red pages, you know. And then I start, and then I just started, and then by the time I dug them out, she'd moved on. So I just figured it out. I just started folding and gluing. Mine were... Um, well, I can do one. Mine were four and a half inches wide because you need something to fold over. And two and a half inches tall. No, two inches. And mine are pretty big. You could make them smaller. And then what I did was I folded it in half. And this is all there is to it. And I've already got glue all over my hands from earlier. Let me sit this down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I want, it doesn't matter on this one, I won't use it. So here, you match this up, and this is the way I did it. You want to keep the inside clear so it does sit flush on the pocket. She said there was other ways that people glued them, but then you, they didn't sit flush because they were glued inside the pocket. And then I just wanted to keep it clear. Now you got to be careful when you're cutting off these. Uh, you cut these at a at an angle, but you got to be careful not to cut that because I did cut the corner point off of one of mine. So you got to be careful not to cut cut too much off of that because you will not have a pointy corner anymore. Okay, so what you have here is a folded half and then up and up, okay? Then you've got, then you open it up and see you've got like a, a silly heart, okay? Then you fold those down just to get it started, okay? All right, then you open it up and you're only going to glue this inside triangle. You want to glue along the, the, the edges good because you want, you want it to be flush. And then I will show you how I folded one flap in like that. Okay. And then I folded it up. Okay. And then I folded this flap down just to secure it. And you can put that on the back. But. If you don't want that, you can cut it off or something. But I I just did that. I thought it was fine. See, they look fine. They've got a little flap on them, but it's okay. I thought it was I thought it was okay. So that's how I did them. 
you just fold them in the middle back you want to, you want this corner to be neat because you're going to see that you want this edge to be neat and here and like I said do it neat neatly okay then you've got extra above your pockets that you're going to make for flaps and I'll trim those down okay and you just cut the, cut them at a sharp angle okay go ahead and fold them just to give them a direction of where they're going to end up okay and that one I did not cut enough you open it up and you glue this inside triangle along the edges just a little bit okay then you fold this over and up fold one flap in and then one flap over and what that does is give it what what it does is it makes it a super clear inside so then it sits flush on the page okay isn't that great so I made a whole bunch of those I don't know what I was doing okay so I'm going to glue three of these together too and like I said I have pictures to cover them up and I need a one inch spine but it needs to, and I need a where did it go I had like a book page thing a heavy duty cover thing Did I already pull it out? Nope. I had an aged looking one. Here it is. Make sure it's tall enough. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, I want a one inch spine. So, let's see how big this is. That's three and seven eighths. Oh, crap. So that would be two and seven eighths, so it'd have an inch and a half, not quite, just under an inch and a half. And then here, I put that at one inch. There. So that is going to be my spine. And what I'm going to do, well, I can go ahead and do it. And that's, that's okay. I'll figure it out. I will decorate that somehow or something. Unless it's too big. No, yes, it's too big. The pages are going to be five, so I only want this to be, we're going to make it six. It'll be a half inch over, but that's okay. And 
I don't even know if this will cut glued paper neatly. It did. And then I'm going to have to score this just under an inch because I don't want it to be wider than the spine. I need it to nestle in the spine. And that's how we can get some strength too. So I'm going to fold that. Okay. And like this was just an eighth under, or less than an eighth, like a sixteenth under one inch. That score. And I will make the back one even less so. Or about, I will do the same to the back too. So it will sit in there flush. So it doesn't, so it's not wider than the spine. I had to make it just a hair under. Okay. And I, I can trim that top and bottom. Oh, I did that wrong. Shoot. I glued it backwards. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it did. Okay. Okay, let me glue that again. I sat it in wrong. Open that up. Okay, so that sits nice. And then I will put my, I'm not going to put it on yet because I don't want to get it damaged. But I, then I will put my pretty cottage picture on it. Oh, this one. Isn't that pretty? Won't that be pretty? I'll go ahead and trim it down. I might wrap it. I could wrap it around. No, it's not really enough to wrap. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Isn't that nice? I like that. So that will be my cover. And yes, I probably should be waiting until I put the back signature in, but of course I'm not. That's okay. We can fix it. If anything needs fixed, we can fix it. There. So there's my cover. Isn't that pretty? I like it. Aw, that's fun. That was nice. I like it. And let's make sure my cover's going to be big enough. Or not too big. It's going to be five and five and a half and the pages are five inches so let's see how a stack uh, how my stack of pages is going to fit in there that will be just fine because my big pages are that big there i think that's a pretty good start so now i'm going to start assembling my pages for the signature because I have to put in a blank piece of book page to attach both sides together because I didn't make them wide enough so I have to start assembling or just book page trimmings like um, like trimming off the white 
edge of a book, book page, you know. So I will, I will make all of those pages full width. I will come, I mean, I will assemble all of these pages like that with something up the spine. Okay? Because I didn't make, I didn't cut them another half inch to, to overhang. So I will, I will have to, I might just barely overhang them. I could do that. But then it might not fold right. So I'll probably just attach them to something. Okay, so that's my first, that's my first part of this. I've got pages picked out. Love the colored pages. The pink ones and the pictures. I found some cute pictures and the green ones and uh, the the cottage pictures and stuff. I love those. So I think those are fun. These uh, these um, what MythBuster out of the Mythbuster book. I think those will be fun. Like I said, to put on every other page. So there will be writing or a minute. I like using the plain book pages um, for writing space. Okay? And since these were just full clean images, I thought that was great. Aren't they great? Okay. Thanks for joining me and let me know if you're going to join this collab too, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye.